Yes, good morning students. Welcome back to the chemistry lesson, periodic classification of elements. In the previous topic, uh, I hope that you understood the topic modern periodic law, periodic properties and metallurgy. In metallurgy process, you have three steps, conversion of uh, uh, ore and the production of the metal and the refining of the metal. Then important terms you used in metallurgy, then types of ore, carbonate ore, halide ore, sulphide ore, then the different methods of separation, you have four methods, hydraulic method, magnetic separation method, froth flotation method and also chemical method or leaching, then the physical and chemical properties of uh, metals. Now we come to the next topic, the extraction of metals. Three metals in this lesson, one we have to uh, study about the three metals, aluminum, iron and also copper. So, in this class one we have to extract aluminum and the chemical, physical and chemical properties and their uses. The first one, extractive metallurgy of aluminum. The symbol of aluminum is Al. It has the atomic number 13 and it has the valency 3. Aluminum is the most abundant metal in the earth crust and also it is very reactive metal. It occurs in a combined state. Combined state means it uh, combines with other elements to form oxide, sulphide, halides, everything. So, the important ores of aluminum are bauxite. Bauxite, the molecular formula Al2O3 dot 2 H2O. Cryolite, Na3AlF6. Corandum, Al2O3. These three are the minerals of aluminum. But the chief ore of aluminum is bauxite. Bauxite, the molecular formula is Al2O3. Now, you have to extract the aluminum from bauxite. So, it is called as the ore of aluminum. The extract, extraction of an aluminum involves two processes. The first one, conversion of bauxite into alumina by Bayes process. The st second step, the electrolytic reduction of alumina by Hall's process. The first process, base process, the bauxite ore is finally powdered or grounded, heated under pressure with the solution of caustic soda solution. Caustic soda means NaOH plus H2O and it is heated at 150 degrees Celsius to obtain sodium meta aluminate. The molecular formula is NaAlO2. On diluting it with water, sodium meta aluminate, you have to dilute it with water, a precipitate of aluminum hydroxide is formed, AlOH thrice. Yeah. Then the aluminum hydroxide, the precipitate is filtered, washed, dried and ignited. Ignited means heated at 1000 degrees Celsius you have to get alumina. Alumina has the formula Al2O3. So, the equation is 2 AlOH thrice gives at 1000 degrees Celsius, you can get the alumina Al2O3 plus 3H2O. So, now here you converted bauxite into alumina. The next process, electrolytic reduction of alumina by Hall's process. Now, here cathode, cathode means minus, anode means positive. Here the ion tank, the ion tank lined with graphite. Then the graphite rods, the carbon anode positive rods are dipped in the electrolyte. These three rods are dipped in the electrolyte. Here which is the electrolyte means uh, cryolite, alumina, fluorosper. Which is the electrolyte? Cryolite. Na3AlF6, alumina Al2O3 and fluorosper CaFe, uh, CaF2. So, these three are the electrolyte. So, the carbon rod, so carbon rods are dipped in the electrolyte. The reaction takes place at a temperature of 900 to 950 degrees Celsius at a voltage of 5 to 6 voltage. The reaction take pl takes place, what happens here means the aluminum is deposited at the cathode, the steel shield. The aluminum is deposited at the steel shield, iron cathode 
and the oxygen gas is liberated. Here the oxygen gas is liberated with carbon anode. So, oxygen they combine with carbon to form carbon dioxide, the carbon dioxide that move away you can get the aluminum. Now, you have to extract the aluminum from alumina. So, this reaction is the uh, overall last reaction 2 Al 2 O 3 gives 4 Al plus 3 O 2 the oxygen gas is liberated. Now, you extracted alum aluminum from bauxite. This is the extraction of aluminum. Aluminum you have two process, Bayes process and Hall's process. Now, the physical properties of aluminum. What is the color of aluminum? It is a silvery white metal and it is a low density 2.7 and it is very light metal and it is a malleable and ductile. Malleable and ductile means it is formed into sheets and wire, uh, wires and also it is a very uh, corrosion resistance also and it conducts uh, the heat easily. So, it is a good conductor of heat and electricity and its melting point is 660 degree Celsius and it can be uh, polished into produce a shiny attractive appearance. These six points are the physical properties of aluminum. Now, come to the chemical properties of aluminum, very, very important question. The first one reaction with air. It does not react with air, only on heating at 800 degrees Celsius. Our aluminum burns very brightly with oxygen to form aluminum oxide. Formula is Al2O3, 4Al plus 3O2 gives 2Al2O3. Then aluminum burns with nitrogen to form aluminum nitride, Aln, aluminum nitride. This is the first reaction, reaction with air. So, on heating only at a high temperature 800 degrees Celsius, it forms aluminum oxide and aluminum nitride. The second one reaction with water, no reaction with water, but you have to when steam, steam is passed over a red hot aluminum, it forms aluminum oxide with the liberation of a hydrogen gas. The equation is 2 Al plus 3 H2O gives Al 2 O 3 plus 3 H2, the gas liberation of a hydrogen gas. The third reaction, reaction with alkalis. Alkali means NaOH solution, sodium hydroxide solution. Solution means it contains water molecules. So, aluminum reacts with caustic soda solution or alkalis to form sodium metaluminate NaAlO2 with the liberation of a hydrogen gas. Now, the equation is 2 Al plus 2 NaOH plus 2 H2O gives 2 NaAlO2 plus 3, 3 H2. The gas is liberated means you can use the upward symbol. Now, come to the fourth reaction, reaction with acids. Aluminum reacts with hydrochloric acid HCl to form aluminum chloride AlCl3 with the liberation of a hydrogen gas. Here the dilute or concentrated hydrochloric acid the reaction is same 2 Al plus 6 HCl gives 2 AlCl3 plus 3 H2 the gas is liberated dilute or concentrated hydrochloric acid that is the same reaction. The next one acid sulfuric acid, the first aluminum, first it react with dilute sulfuric acid to form aluminum sulphate Al2SO4 thrice with the liberation of a hydrogen gas. First reaction 2 Al plus 3 H2SO4 gives Al2SO4 thrice plus 3 H2. This is the aluminum that reacts with dilute sulfuric acid. The next one aluminum, it reacts with hot concentrated sulfuric acid. It forms aluminum sulphate water 
and uh, with the liberation of a sulfur dioxide gas SO2. So, the reaction is 2 Al plus 6 H 2 SO4 gives Al 2 SO4 thrice aluminum sulphate plus 6 H 2 O plus 3 SO2 the gas is liberated. And then this aluminum it does not react with dilute or concentrated nitric acid because it renders aluminum passive. Passive means it is inert or unreactive because already it forms an aluminum oxide film. So, this aluminum it does not react with dilute or concentrated sulfuric acid. Then the last reaction this aluminum it act as a powerful reducing agent. Aluminum is act as a powerful reducing agent when a mixture of iron oxide Fe2O3 it reacts with aluminum to form iron plus Al2O3 and also it produces heat and this reaction is called as aluminothermic process. This reaction is called as aluminothermic process. It is a very important reaction. What is aluminothermic process? Here aluminum is a powerful reducing agent. Aluminum it reacts with iron oxide to form iron and aluminum oxide with the liberation of a heat and this reaction is called as aluminothermic process. This, these are the 5 chemical properties of aluminum. Now, what are the uses of aluminum? Then aluminum is used in household utensils, electric cable industry, making aeroplanes and also other industrial machine parts. This aluminum alloy is also used as aluminum uh, aeroplane tools everything. So, these are the uses of uh, aluminum. Uh, okay, students. So, these are the chemical properties and their uses. So, here now you do the assignment also. Very, very important questions. These three questions are first one explain the extraction of aluminum with a neat diagram also. Then write the chemical properties of aluminum with the equation. Then third one what are the uses of aluminum? These three questions you have to learn and write one time. Okay, thank you students.